We've talked about this before, this notion of the consumption model. How do, we, how do we change the consumption model? Now, here's an example of actually a really amazing consumption model. But this is not the consumption model we need in security. We need to get past the consumption model where we take months and months and months to plan and evaluate lots of different choices. We need to get past the process where we, we ultimately have to just pick one because we know that it's going to take months, if not years, to get it deployed everywhere that it needs to be, and that we have to leave it deployed for five years while we depreciate it. Like, we have to get past that, that approach to the consumption of new security services. So this is why I built the application framework, right? So um, if, we, if we take what we do at the network level, we take what we do on the endpoint, we take what we do in the cloud, and we have to be really, really good at those things, because like I said before, that's where security actually happens. But with the application framework, we make it possible for more and more of these security capabilities to simply be consumed. So let me give an example of this. So uh, I'm guessing, there we go. I'm guessing that many of you have thought about behavior analytics to some extent. Maybe some of you have even deployed it. But I'm going to guess that most of you haven't. Most of you are probably in the stage of like thinking about it, thinking it's important, thinking it's about something you would like to do but probably looking at this going, it's a lot of stuff I have to roll out. It's a lot of new infrastructure that I'm gonna have to manage and operate and keep updated. And hopefully you're looking at it thinking there's gotta be a better way. And this is exactly what we were thinking over a year ago when we acquired LightCyber, which was a really, really great behavior analytics uh, company that over a year ago, this is what you would have had to do to consume their capabilities. But as of just a few months ago, this is what you would have to do to consume their capabilities. Using Palette Networks in the infrastructure, you would just need to activate the magnifier application. We took all of that extra infrastructure, we made it software in the next-gen firewall and the endpoint in the cloud, such that behavior analytics is simply consumed as an application. And one of the really cool things about this is that once it becomes an application that's consumed, we can rapidly innovate as well. So this first came out just a few months ago, yet we've already had the first iteration on functionality. Magnifier is already better than it was just a couple months ago. And it's going to keep getting better as we keep updating it where we take on the operations, we take on the development, we take on this update process, and you just get the benefit of the improved capabilities. Now, when we built the application framework, we were obviously thinking about how it would enable us to deliver more applications faster, but we were also thinking about how it would enable us to, do, to enable third parties to build applications and deliver to you as well. And as of the beginning of April, so just a few weeks ago, we have stood up the first application framework that had all of the APIs and capabilities for third parties to develop on top of it. And we're sitting here thinking, how many apps are we going to get to be able to showcase at Ignite? Some of us thought three, five. Those of us who are particularly bold said, we think we're going to get the double figures. At Ignite this week, there are over 30 working prototypes of third party applications running on the application framework. It is awesome. And think about how short of a time frame that was that this happened. And I'm going to show you in a second the companies, but um, many of them are, have their demos running in the innovation sandbox. They have them running in their boost. They have them, they're going to showcase them in, in breakout sessions. But I want to take this opportunity to talk about a few with you today. And I thought it'd be interesting to start with an example around IoT. So IoT is, you know, obviously IoT is not brand new, but IoT on the enterprise is a relatively new concept. It's probably one of those concepts where many of you are thinking, I should be doing something about this, but what? And you would probably start that really long process to try to find just the right one, because you know you're gonna have it for so long. We think we have a better way. So let me show you a couple of IoT applications built for the application framework. Let's play the first demo. 
So we're going to start here. Uh, this is the app portal where you can manage your applications. And we're going to go down and we're going to activate a new app. In this case, we're going to activate Medigate, which is a medical IoT application. And there's just a few fields you have to enter in order to, to activate this application, picking the region and things like that. And you agree. Now, there'll be one more step here. Let's scroll back up to the top. You have to actually give this application permission to access your data, of course. And then once activated, this application does some pretty cool stuff. By integrating with the application framework, it's able to detect, identify, and visualize a lot of information about medical devices on the network. Of course, it has the dashboard, but if we click on medical devices here, you'll see that by analyzing the traffic, integrating through application framework, it's able to inventory everything that's running. And as you drill down and filter, and, and we'll click on one of these, um, um, these devices, you can actually get a lot more information about that device, which is something that Medigate understands a lot of information about. That's what they're experts in. And because they integrate through the application framework, they understand how that application is actually behaving and working. And so you, what you see highlighted there is this is, a, this is an infusion pump that for some reason has a medical imaging application communicating with it. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> and, we, and we're able to combine that information together through Medigate's expertise plus all the visibility and knowledge that the application framework provides. Very cool example of an application um, that we're just being showcased this week. Let me show you a second one. So CyberX, also IoT focused, but in the ICS space. Similar dashboard in terms of getting broad visibility, but they automatically build this chart of all the different devices in the ICS space and how they're communicating. They allow you to drill into a specific device to better understand it, as well as to look at alerts if the device is doing something that wasn't expected. And in this case, this device was speaking with another device on an application that had never been seen before. Now you can drill into that in order to further understand the connection between these two devices. And in analyzing that connection, get a better understanding of whether or not this new communication was something that was supposed to happen or not. Right? So we see the information about this device and what it's designed to do. And as we drill down, you now get to see across the entire infrastructure bandwidth utilization across different kinds of devices, different segments of the environment, you get to identify anomalies that are probably indicative of something strange happening. It might be new devices, but it might be malicious traffic. In a lot of ICS environments, Modbus is the application of choice, and so being able to understand how that is being used. But then interestingly, through the integration with the application framework, also understand any other applications that are running in that environment as well that also might be indicative of something behaving the way that it's not supposed to. Very cool examples in the IoT space. Now, I want to give one more example for you. And this one's going to be a little, have a little bit more moving parts. Let's think about SecOps and, and what typically happens when you get an alert. And this example I'm going to give, imagine a user tried to download a piece of malware and was blocked. You might still want to understand, was that user's machine compromised? Was anyone else infect, potentially infected? What else was going on? Now, traditionally, in the SecOps world, this would be a very manual process and would take a lot of time and energy. So let's take a look at what that might look like in the future with the application framework. Leveraging three different applications. Centrify from an identity perspective. Identifying that host was potentially compromised and immediately elevating the risk profile to force multi-factor authentication to verify that that is really a true user on the machine and not a malicious actor. At the same time, automatically initiating instant response with ServiceNow with a lot of the data already pre-populated, pulled directly out of the application framework without the user having to go enter it all in, being able to expose the threat lookup results, as well as the ability to drill down on those results and even integrate with another application, in this case, Recorded Future, that has already captured a tremendous amount of information about this incident. 
combining what they know, plus through integration with the application framework, pulling information that Palo Alto Networks already knows as well. So now you have a, just a tremendous amount of information consolidated in one place to aid with the response. Now, one of the big questions is, was anyone else infected? So now we go back and we take a look. We run the query, again, against the application framework to say, did we see this anywhere else? Did we see anyone else connect to this malware distribution site? And in fact, there are two other users that had done that. So now let's take action. Let's make sure that nobody else in the environment can get to this malware distribution site. And it's as easy as updating an EDL that then gets pulled down from every next-gen firewall in that environment. So you see, many of the steps that used to be just a tremendous amount of time and energy get replaced by automated actions from just a few applications leveraging the application framework. Very cool. So I mentioned 30 plus. First and foremost, I want to give a very, very, very big thank you to some of our design partners. Phantom, now part of Splunk, ProtectWise, and Recorded Future. These three companies have been with us through this entire journey, and they've been a tremendous help to us, and I want to thank the three of them for everything they've contributed to making this reality. We have a number of cloud partners that we've worked with to build applications in the application framework. ICS, IoT, and even an ACK vendor that have found ways to integrate with the application framework to build very compelling applications. MSSPs that have looked at this and said, what a fantastic opportunity to enhance and provide better services to our customers. And it's probably not a surprise, a bunch of analytics vendors coming up with some really great ideas for how they can leverage this data to provide even better services to all of you. Identity vendors, I showed the Centrify example. They found a way to leverage this data in order to make identity a more integral component of security. Security operations, finding ways to automate more and more of the SecOps workflows to make all of your lives easier and actually allow you to spend more time on a higher value task that require humans to be involved. Threat intelligence integrations. This is a category I expect we'll see tens if not hundreds of integrations in the future. And during a couple of late nights, we even have some really crazy ideas. <laughs> we actually have an, uh, an Alexa integration. I'm not sure where that one's gonna go. The Slack, innovation, uh, Slack uh, um, uh, integration I, I get. Uh, but some really, really just cool and amazing things have been accomplished in just a very short period of time. And so we're very excited to be able to showcase all of this for you uh, during the expo this week. So with that, I want to leave you with just a few thoughts. You know, back to the original message. Our, our goal, our mission is to prevent successful cyber attacks. And we're very focused on that. We're very focused on building a new approach that helps make sure that all of you can focus on what really matters. And a big part of that, of course, is changing this consumption model of how you consume new security innovation, both from us as well as other third parties, and doing all of this in a way that is built for automation, that really leverages this notion of automation playing a bigger and bigger role in everything we do from a security perspective. All right, now with that, there's one more speaker that will be coming up next, Mark Anderson, with a video that will play just before that. Thank you all very, very much. I'm going to record a future. I'm a swim lane. And we're really excited about CyberX. So building an app for the Palo Alto Networks application framework. We're real excited about this, uh, this integration. And we're glad to get this opportunity to make the user experience better. So it makes total sense to integrate with Palo Alto Networks. This is going to enable our security analysts to much more rapidly fully investigate and remediate any kind of security detection that they find on their platform. This is the team of brilliant minds redefining the security of medical Internet of Things.
cybersecurity, as you know it, is finished. Endless innovation is here. Now available from anyone. Anywhere. Instantly. We've reinvented security. Again. And it runs on the world's only security operating platform. The age of cobbled together security is done. Reinventing your infrastructure over and over is over. You can now deploy frictionless, seamlessly integrated security delivered from the cloud as apps. Unlimited plug and play protection. Drag and drop innovation. App developers everywhere have instant access to tens of thousands of organizations and over a decade of aggregated threat data and telemetry. We've reshaped the future of security, and it's here today. The application framework from Palo Alto Networks.